Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2002's Robots in Disguise KB Exclusive Destructicon Scourge. Now, Scourge here is a repaint of the Generation 2 Hero Optimus Prime that came out in 1994. And I picked up this figure here at TFCon in Baltimore a couple weeks ago and have been really looking forward to getting him out of the package to show him off to you guys. But I do have one really big concern. My good friend and fellow YouTuber Larkin's Lair reviewed one of these a few months ago that he picked up at a convention and the rubber hose, or I guess it's a plastic hose, broke right out of the package. So looking at mine, if you can see right there, that rubber hose is crimped really tight against the plastic bubble. And I'm kind of worried when I open this plastic bubble up, that may tear. So that's why I have my heater right here. I'm really going to heat this up a lot before I open it, hoping that that'll fix it. If you're used to dealing or repairing plastic robots at all, you're very well aware what heat can do as far as loosening joints or softening plastic. So I really, really hope that works. But before we get into that and opening up the package, let's check it out. So here we got Robots in Disguise Destructicon Scourge right there in vehicle mode. I believe he comes with a card and a, where is it? Lost it, <laughs> a little blaster right there and two launching projectiles. That's the gimmick with this line. On the back of the package, You've got Scourge in robot mode, vehicle mode, and a cross cell with Scourge himself, and the other Destructicon repaint, Bludgeon, who was a repaint of G2 Hero Megatron. So now, without further ado, and a little bit of luck, let's get Scourge opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Scourge all opened up out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, and these are the old school basic instructions that pretty much go over everything and pretty easy to follow and understand. He also comes with these two projectiles. These are pretty much thin, hollow plastic with a soft rubber tip on the end, and he comes with a blaster. And as you've probably guessed it already, heating up the package worked. I was able to get this hose out no problem whatsoever. I mean, I took it nice and slow. I heated the package up, opened it up, pulled this figure out, and then once I had him completely out, I heated the hose again, stretched it out, and then went downstairs, boiled some water, and then poured boiling water over the hose also, and really made this thing nice and pliable and got all the kinks out. So I'm really thrilled how that turned out. I mean, it, it still works great. So now taking a quick look at the vehicle, I love this vehicle mode. Of course, I've said it before, I love the collaring of Scourge or Nemesis Prime. And this truck mode just looks awesome. Now, years ago, I had the G2 Optimus Prime version but just didn't like it. It just didn't look like Optimus Prime to me. 
and ended up selling him. But this guy looks amazing. Starting here at the front, I love the chrome on the lights. There in the grill, big Decepticon logo there on the hood. We've got the turquoise right there along the sides. And that goes all the way across. Love that. Even back here on the wheels, some turquoise there on the rear of the vehicle. Nice chrome rims that just look fantastic. And this vehicle rolls so good. Back of the vehicle, we've got some silver right there. Those, of course, are the robot's fists. The windshield is translucent plastic, and it almost looks like you would have some sort of light piping for the windshield, but he does not. So that's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Now, of course, here on the back is the launcher for the projectiles, and right there is the bellows. Now, one thing I'm really thankful for is on the back of the package, it's shown that the bellows are yellow and i think the gray works so much better than that yellow so for once i'm really happy the figure didn't look like he did in the stock photos now how the bellows works is you have to pop it off the vehicle there's a couple pegs right there that go into those holes stretch out the hose and then just slide your projectile over it's got a little flat end right there that's what needs to go on the bottom and then you just give this thing a squeeze and there it goes yes that was very very anticlimactic right there now it shows in the instructions that you're supposed to slam your fist down on those bellows so really give it a good whack so let's test that out Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Now, the launcher does have a soft ratchet right there, so it kind of locks into different positions and, of course, can rotate 360 degrees. But the hose is attached, so that can get in the way. So you want to be careful of that. Now, to get everything stored on the vehicle, what you're going to do is bring this section back up, attach it with the two pegs right here, it's kind of a bad design for this because you're still going to crimp this hose when you put this all the way back. I think maybe the this section here should have been molded to go on the back or, or something that design's just not really good. So you've got the bellows attached, then you have the two rockets, and there's these little sections right here, these little clips. So you just peg those rockets there on the side. This is the hard one. You got to get the rocket around the hose. Like I said, it's just this hose is not really designed that well for this vehicle. So you get those all attached. Everything's popping off. Not a big fan of how this works. So you've got the rockets on. You've got the extra gun right there that will peg into the top of the launcher. And there you have Destructicon Scourge all armed and ready for battle. And I think once you get everything on, it doesn't look bad at all, though you can't rotate the launcher any at all. And you're supposed to put the hose in this little clip right here. But considering how old this soft plastic is, I'm not really going to fool with that. So there we have Destructicon Scourge in vehicle mode. Now let's get Scourge transformed into robot mode. And the first thing you need to do is remove all of the accessories, including the bellows. So you've got this going on. Next thing you're gonna do is right here on the bumper, you're gonna push these sections in. And they can be a little tricky sometimes. They're a little tight. So get those folded in just like so. And then you're going to rotate the whole front cab forward. These form the robot legs. And sometimes it's difficult to get the legs around those little flaps you just pushed in. Man, mine are a beast to fix in. So what I'm going to do now, let's go ahead and separate the legs to make this a little easier. So there we go. Popped right in that time. 
And there is one hell of a tab right there that holds those two sections together. So there you have Scourge's legs. Now, right here, the rear of the vehicle is going to become his arms. Just pop those apart, bring those down, and you're going to rotate the shoulders around until you've got the black, gray, and turquoise section facing front, just like so. Pull the arm out, bring it down, rotate the forearm around to where the Decepticon insignia is facing forward. There's a little slider right there. Slides the fist out. Do the same thing over here. Pull out, rotate around, slide the fist out, and there you go. Now this launcher is attached to the forearm. It, it's not coming off. It just rotates around, so you're going to have to deal with it. It's kind of like a fusion cannon. The next thing you're going to do is take the bellows here, and once again, it's going to peg right into the back. So get this pegged in like so. And as I said earlier, they screwed up on the design. It pegs in this way, which really stretches that hose. It should have been on the other side. There's no way around that. Just peg that in and you deal with it. Now you have the rockets. You'll peg those right in the same spots where they were in vehicle mode. So they're right along his back, like so, and they do not want to stay in. So there we've got that. And now, lastly, we take the little handgun, and you can put it in either hand. We'll go ahead and put it in his left hand. And there you have Scourge in robot mode. And this guy looks cool, but there are a few issues. Weapon storage is an absolute joke. These pieces pop off so easy. I mean, they're barely on there, so I'm letting you know that right now because they'll probably pop off during the review. Also, he is extremely back-heavy and has no heel spurs, so you have to angle him just right to stand up or it's just not happening. If you can tell right here, I've got his weapons facing forward so he can stand okay but i mean a slight breeze or i talk too loud he might fall right over absolutely love the head sculpt and he's got some fantastic light piping check that out i love it pretty much like every scourge or nemesis prime figure i have the light piping is off the chain his color scheme is very reminiscent of his rid leader class version i can't remember what those are called but very close to that like the big decepticon insignias on his forearms all in all a really nice looking figure articulation the arms can do a complete 360 they can go up and down they are on a soft ratchet there is a bicep rotation and a bicep bend no wrist rotation let's see this this arm the cannon mount can rotate around but it is going to be hindered by the hose there is waist rotation and the legs yep there goes a missile let's go ahead and just take those off legs can go forward they can go back also they are on a soft ratchet as well and there is a knee bend due to transformation let's see yep even with the rockets on off he can't stand really good um, he does have the same launching feature that he did in vehicle mode. You just pop the bellows off like so. Slide one of the rockets on. And, of course, just give it a squeeze. So, that's pretty cool. Now, another thing I wish he had was the fists do not lock into place. They kind of slide down. And that's it. So they go in and out way too easy. But still, it's not bad for what it is. It was a product of its time. Actually, its time was 1993. But they just brought it back for the RID line. And he's not bad. I dig it. Of course, I am a big Nemesis Prime fan. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is 2002's Robots in Disguise Destructicon Scourge with Robots in Disguise Leader Scourge, War for Cybertron Netflix Nemesis Prime, and Buzzworthy Bumblebee Nemesis Primal. 
The Transformers Robots in Disguise 2002 KB Exclusive Destructicon Scourge is an okay Transformers toy. This guy is all about the gimmick, and though it works okay, the figure suffers for it. He's extremely back heavy, the weaponry just does not attach well, and it's just got a lot of design flaws that really, really hinder robot mode. I do think robot mode looks good, and this figure is going to look great on my Scourge and Nemesis Prime shelf, though I am probably going to have to prop him up. So there you go, guys. The 2002 Robots in Disguise KB Exclusive Destructicon Scourge. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. Thank you so much. It's support like yours that keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hello!